So now we're going to talk about Active Directory Write Management Services. So this chapter, we're going to talk about Active Directory Write Management Services, installations and configurations. So what is Active Directory Write Management Services? Let's go back to our one of the example. Um, Active Directory Write Management Services. Let's save this information. This is save. This is ADFS example. Oops. So Active Directory Write Management Services, what it does. Uh, let's say this is our Active Directory Domain Services and domain services will provide the authentications that is their main job yeah. connect in here connect over there okay this is our right management services we provide in here it will be part of our network as well. So this is ADDS. This is uh, ADRMS. This is our PC1. This is our PC2. Right. So Active Directory route management services is provide like, you know, um, it's provide like, you know, extra layer of control with Microsoft, um, Microsoft product, such as we have the NTFS and we have the EFS, those kind of like, you know, um, uh, permissions level we manage from the ADRMS, but ADRMS mostly provide um some extra layer of authentications and encryptions in general um we manage our data we manage our like you know files we have like you know encryption process such as efs and bitlocker but active directory write management services it's actually protect protect the organization's data from inappropriate access like security services. Sorry? Like security services. Security services, correct. It's kind of like a security services. It's provide authentication, like we have many other method of like managing the security, but uh, file protections, data protections, ADRMS is like another um, uh, tools or services from Microsoft side we have, and that is only applicable for Microsoft product. For example, you have one of the uh, Microsoft Word document, and that document you have some you know document or some informations over there. See so these informations you want to protect. So you can provide uh, some permissions level like you know read permissions, you know um, uh, view only, view only. Uh, view only and read is actually same thing. Also, you can put some uh, like you can provide view only, but uh, not printing. You don't like provide read, view only and read only uh, like same thing. Yes, uh, read only, view only same, but you also will not be able to print print to PDF. Mm -hmm. Sometimes even something read only, but we can put a we can print out that one in PDF, so you'll not be able to do that one. Then you yeah, printing. Also, like um, you can put some another uh, kind of like authentications, which is you can uh, read only. You can do view only. You can they can print. Also, like email attachment. Sometimes what we do, even that is a read only, but the file we can send via email attachment but you'll not be able to know email attachment. You'll not be able to attach that file and send somewhere. 
So this is this is a kind of sort of like different kind of like protections you'll be able to manage with Active Directory Direct Management Services. Also, you can manage you know version control, applications, version control, such as one of the particular versions of applications you don't want to run inside your network. Those kind of like um, services can be provided by the ADRMS. So ADRMS is not a mandatory you know, tools we have to use inside our server. This is kind of like an optional. There are many other tools in the market you can use, but server side, this is a free tools which we have. Some company, they are using this one. Especially these days, we have the cloud services. So cloud services, this is important. Let's have a look some reading from our slides and see what is actually is doing. So we're going to talk about all these things. So ADRMS enables you to add to these capabilities uh, and enables you to protect data files both at rest on a file systems or in transit, perhaps through an email message. With the ADRMS, you can control who has access to data what type of access they have and even define the specific access duration for example you say okay i have created one of the excel file and you can put a validity after uh, and you share that file and you say okay after two weeks this file will not be accessible by other people you can put a time limit you can say okay two days this excel file will be able to access by other people but after two days they will not be able to access so those kind of like Control you can do with ADRMS. So we are discussing in here now typical scenarios for using ADRMS to secure data including the following prevent propagations you do not want your you do not want sensitive information to be sent by email restrict actions you want to restrict users to being able to view document but not to edit it and not to print it protect data you want to Protect data on removable storage device. Even removable storage means if you have a USB device, external hard disk, you can protect the data from that as well. If a storage device containing sensitive data is lost, you want to know that the data cannot be accessed by unauthorized persons. So these sort of things you'll be able to do with um, ADRMS. ADRMS has many components such as we need to configure the ADRMS servers. It supports only certain Microsoft AD ADRMS client such as uh, Windows, Sub, uh, Windows 10, Windows 8.1, Windows 7, those kind of um, a client operating system it supports. Some applications such as Microsoft Outlook, um, those kind of applications it supports. Then database, it supports certain, um, you need to have a database uh, services as well. You can use SQL servers or Windows internal database. There are some other requirements such as public key infrastructures is required, server licenses certificate, client licenses certificate, machine certificate, uh, right account certificate, publishing license, end user license. So there are some other components is required as well. So let's have a look at the installation process and after that we're going to look at a bit more details how actually it works. So I'm going to my servers. This is my servers. Select. So first thing I just need to install, right? Add roles and features. 
click next 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 active directory right management services i'm just going to click this one as you can see so many stuff is going to install by itself so many things click add features click next 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 active directory right management services only click next 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 install So now it's installing. So what we can do, let's um, install this one. But by the time we looked at what we have, we are actually performing the installation steps now. I'm going to configure all these things. Now, after installations, what we'll be able to do with ADRMS? You can use ADRMS write policy templates to simplify the administrations of rights throughout your organizations. For example, you can configure templates that enable viewing only rights on Word documents. So you'll be able to configure the view only template. After you create your rights policy templates, user can Users can apply them to content using ADRMS Aware app, such as Microsoft Office Word, by using the Protect Document option. The rights policy templates are stored in the ADRMS database, and you can configure them by using either the ADRMS console or Windows PowerShell commands. To create right policies in Server Manager, click Tools and then click Active Directory Right Management Services. So. Once our servers is get configured, we're going to look at these steps. Configure exclusion policies. You can create and use exclusion policies to prevent specific users or app from using ADRMS. You can configure three types of exclusion policies, applications, users, logbox versions. Applications enables you to block a specific app such as Microsoft Office Word, enables you to name specific excluded users, logbox versions, enables you to block specific client versions, for example, Windows XP. To create and manage exclusion policies, use the Active Directory Right Management Services console. So you'll be able to use this console to manage all these stuffs. Also, ADRMS service, that's backup is very important. We need to provide the backup for like private key. We can backup to the SQL servers or we can back, backup to um, Windows internal database. We can configure and you can uh, backup this, this one to external hard disk. So this is an example how ADRMS functions. This is one of the person, this person want to put a right management protections in here. So this servers will sense the server issues, the client licenses certificate to here. Then it will add the rights and conditions to there. And then this applications will encrypt, encrypts the file with symmetric key. That key will be stored on the servers public key it will be there when a new recipient wants to access that particular files then application or browser request server for use license so this person need a license so servers will provide the license and then that server decrypts the symmetric key using its private key so the before we save that um, public key it will be um, provided uh, to that person with the private key. After that, uh, server re encrypts the symmetric key using the recipient's public key and adds the encrypted sessions key to the used license. 
So this is, you can see, very authenticated way. Um, it's a bit complicated, but in the back end, that's how it's actually um, provide the access. It's kind of like a, a certificate is involved over there. Um, and also um, encryption is over there as well in a secured way. Um, this uh, this word document will be available for the other recipient. Yeah, it's different. Yes, there's a lot of you know steps in, involved, but that's how it works in the back end. But these days, um, how it works, this is important for the cloud-based applications. For example, you have, um, you know, we using the OneDrive, Google Drive, and many other, you know, cloud uh, services we using. But this is, remember, only for the Microsoft. So Microsoft, we have a cloud, you know, Word file, PowerPoint file. So those kind of file, when we provide the access to other people, we can uh, use this kind of like, um, uh, ADRMS template and we can configure the rights protections over there and Microsoft ADRMS this is we discussing the on-premises but Microsoft has this stuff in the cloud as well so they have the cloud versions of these things as well now let's have a look okay this is done I'm going to click close yellow triangle this is Active Directory Right Management Services. We can perform additional configurations. Click Next. Next. And specify the database. Okay, we're going to use the Windows internal database for this server configurations. Click Next. We need a username. So that's why we have to do some task. This username, we need a specific username. Only administrator will not work. So what we'll do, go to tools, active duty users and computers. For the ADRMS, we need to create some specific user. So this is your lab1.local. I'm going to right click in here, new, user name it adrms user logon name will be again adrms adrms click next untick this one password and put password never expire click next finish so this is my adrms user right i'm going to use this user for that configuration purposes now right click on this user, we'll go to properties, member of, we need to provide uh, higher privileges to these uh, administrators. We select enterprise, enterprise, enterprise admins, click OK. So this is the enterprise admin in here. And other thing in we go to general we're going to put a email address such as what is our domain name at first we're going to check that click local server lab1.local this is our domain name now we'll go back not here sorry Oh, sorry, this is the place we are working. So go to properties of this one. Okay, so it will be ADRMS at uh, lab1.local. So this is the email address for this user we have created. This is just a service um, account we have created. We apply and okay. Okay, this is the username. Now, this username is important for these configurations. Go to browse, say ADRMS at uh, lab1.local. Next, oh, in built credentials, ADRMS at lab1.local. Next. 
ad okay uh, lab one slash adrms so we're going to use this user after that specify cryptographic mode so cryptographic mode 2 this is rsa 2048 bit key sha 256 hash hashes over there so we leave it default click next cluster storage key. it will create automatically uh, the storage key informations click next cluster password we can put our default password in here click next and click next master website will be uh, connected with your local website now SSL encryptions okay we need to say we need to put our domain fully qualified domain name informations which will be dc4 dot lab one dot local and this is the fully qualified domain name see is written in here and um, this applications will be associated with port number 443 click next and certificate we already have the certificate we choose the first one click next this is our server name next register the service connection point now yes click next this is the summary and we're going to click install As I said before, this this is we configuring for on premises, but uh, Microsoft uh, has this uh, ADRMS services in the cloud as well. That can be used for client uh, um, uh, in the cloud service communications over there. So cloud one is getting very popular um, these days. Yeah, now. Yes. Now it's very popular. Yeah, many um, Word document, PowerPoint document, many informations we uh, actually sharing via the cloud, right? So that's yeah. how the cloud is important. So they have that, This they have like on-premises versions and cloud versions, both versions they have as well. Yeah, it's installing now. Installing, it's taking a bit of time. Once it's done, then we'll be able to see the bit of applications, how it's worked and stuff like that. So ADRMS is um, one of the important uh, things related, related with like data encryptions, file sharing uh, around that area is very important. Now let's go to tools, uh, open up Active Directory Right Management Services. adding ADRMS cluster click OK so this is I think there's a cross in here yeah it doesn't uh, get configured but manually you have to configure we right click and click add cluster okay and https 443 we just need to put the local username and password it was adrms domain so we need to put lab1 slash adrms and we're going to put the password click finish Once it's done, then we can see uh, some drop down menu and we can see that now we have the access in ADRMS policy. 
We have trusted user domain, trusted publishing domains, right policy template, right account certificate policies, exclusion policies, users, applications, logbox, security policies. So they're the all elements we have in here. Yeah. Reports as well. But mostly what we do, we actually use the um, uh, important things in here is templates. So templates means you can configure the template and after that, you'll be able to associate this template with some particular applications such as PowerPoint or like, you know, Word, like that. This is add template identifications informations, template identifications, add name. This is a test template description. Also, I put test, click add, next, add user rights. So that's why we can configure what user will be able to do. I click on add, I click, you can choose particular users or groups from your computer or in this is just like test environment in this scenario you just put anyone okay click okay then what rights you want to provide view edit save the documents export so you can you can control from here maybe we put view only and we don't want to provide any other rights then click next expire like after how long this template um, when you apply this template after how long um, the documentations or services will be expired you can put a expiration date never expired or you can say expired on the following date you can put a date as well you can put expires after the following durations you can put expirations after following days Maybe you could say, okay, you can put after, you know, two days, this, this documentations you created, it will be um, not accessible by unauthorized people. Click next, next, and finish. So this is one of the template we have configured, right? After that, how are you going to associate this template? This template later on you're going to apply for certain applications. For example, this is my PowerPoint documentations, right? Yeah. I have to associate that template with my PowerPoint documentation. So I'll go to tools, see protect, uh, sorry, manage, not this one, sorry, protect presentation. Click in here. If you go down, restrict access, connect to right management service and get templates, right? You got it? Yeah. So in my scenario, my um, PowerPoint, uh, these presentations is not actually connected uh, with that network. So I'll not be able to get that template. But in your network, that's how you're going to add the template, a DRMS template. This is the locations which we need to know. Okay, so let's go back in here and uh, go back to our configurations. Yes, so this is the template and the, this is the uses of this template. Now there are some other account certificate policy which you can configure. Exclusion policy, some users you have to exclude, enable user exclusions, applications, enable application execu uh, exclusions, Logbox, what does it mean logbox? Logbox is related with particular operating uh, system versions. So now right click on user, exclude right access connections. For example, this users mean you can exclude that user to access some particular documentations. That's what you can do from here. Now applications, right click on this one, exclude applications. For example, in your network, you have like in you know, Skype, 1.1.1.1, 1.1.1.2. So this is the applications you have. 
this exclude means exclusion means people will not be able to use this sky versions in your network click finish lock box lock box is another things this is actually relevant change minimum lock box versions like this is related with um, operating system versions for example windows uh, 7 this is maybe your um, applications you're going to allow in your network you don't want even you don't want to allow anything below that windows 7 so this kind of things you can configure oh that's also need to be some kind of like versions i think in this way yes now security policies super users what is super user super user means these people uh, they will have most privileges if they want like if someone want to manage this ADRMS servers someone want to configure some template they need to be part of super user group super user group means once you have this console you'll be able to browse and get the super user in here cluster password decommission there are some other tabs in here which occasionally will be able to use so main point in our ADRMS is we need to create the template and template we have many different options right yeah many different permissions level you can configure after that that template you'll be able to associate with uh, some Microsoft Word document it's only applicable for Microsoft um, applications Microsoft components would be Word, Microsoft Office documentations, Microsoft, um, you know, the uh, Microsoft operating system. So around that area, you'll be able to use this ADRMS template. And who can manage these uh, servers, ADRMS servers? The people who is part of that super user group. So those people you'll be able to manage this right management services. So that's pretty much the discussions about this ADRMS. So let 